Um, one of the designers was a, a woman called Philo, who did Celine. Every woman, black, white, every age that I know of, coveted Celine bags. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it was always, you know, waitlist, list, wait list, wait list. Mm-hmm. Bags. And so Philo said, uh, am I going to be forced to use black? She's never used black marbles. So she said, am I going to be forced to use black marbles? I said, no. I mean, there has got to be the right black model for you. You know, there can't be no black model that's not, not, not right for you. And, uh, but just by she saying that, yeah. I said, and I did this I, I, because I've done it, but I never said it, you know, publicly. I said, for the action of she saying that she has to have the choice not to use black models, that's why I have never bought a Celine bag. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. She has the right to her runway. And I have a right to my pocketbook. Absolutely. Mm. So you are, and I, so I never owned a Celine bag for that. That's what I mean by boycott. It's like there's lots of bags that I can own. I don't need a Celine bag. Yeah. Especially right. if she yeah. feels nothing for me. Yes. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> so <clears throat> I just made a video the other week talking about Pippi Finals and her new collection. A new brand with a new collection being excited because I was saying stuff like it's giving very much nothing but everything at the same time and I will say this I still like the collection I'm not gonna just because I don't agree with a person doesn't mean that I'm gonna take away their talent or whatever it is something that I like or think is good I'm not gonna take that away from them just because I do not agree with certain things but this clip that I just saw that you guys and I just saw of Iman just speaks volume and I know it's, it was back in 2013 and she started using models, black models in 2015 but that clip and that comment just says a lot about Fibre Philo as a woman I'm absolutely shocked because I never really knew that and as I said in the other videos, back at that time, I wasn't really checking for Celine. I wasn't checking for Vivi Philo. I was very much in my... I was very much all over the place, but it was definitely more like Versace and other brands like that. It wasn't really Vivi Philo or Celine that I was checking for at all. It's only like now, recently, that also having to make like a video about Celine and the different designers that has been in Celine that I really like looked into it but Celine has never really been a brand that I checked for especially not back then but this just shows you uh yeah it's funny how things just keeps resurfacing because now people are definitely gonna look at people by a different way but here's the thing I saw a video on YouTube um from a guy called Fashion Roadman He's from the UK and he does like fashion videos. He really does an in-depth of the fashion industry and gives his opinion stuff and it's really it's really knowledgeable. <laughs> um, so you should definitely go and check him out. But he's talking about Phoebe Fido and one thing that he pointed out, he said that there was a, some a nice unique pieces in the collection and he also liked the collection, but he also mentioned one thing that I didn't even think about when I looked at the collection, even though I kept pointing out that the, the prices are really really high and I know that a lot of the things are sold out I know that I'm not the target buyer and if I had the money to even splurge on stuff something like that I definitely wouldn't splurge on something like that because he actually pointed out the things that the different items and the clothing and the jewelry the material that I made out of is some of the cheapest on the market even the necklace that's like 22,000 or was 2,000 I can't even remember now let me just look I can't even see the price now, but it was a lot. It was like two. It was a lot of money, and the necklace is basically made of sterling silver. You're not even getting a necklace or bracelet that's fully gold for that price. You're just getting sterling silver, which is insane. And it's even sold out. But there are a lot of the items that we do have some other items was like 100% wool and based off the, the design is definitely worth the price. But there are a lot of the things as well. But it's definitely not worth the price and it's definitely not worth the material that it's made of and as much that i like the collection there definitely is some pieces where it's just like it's not like this dress this hand comb embroidered dress 
is 100% viscose, which is some of the cheapest material you can get um, when it comes to fabrics. And I cannot see the price of this dress, but I'm sure that it's a couple of thousands as well for that. But I'm really shocked that I saw that clip and Phoebe Philo have been saying that back in 2013. One, do not support companies who do not support you. That's something that I've really... That's definitely one thing. And also people are saying that she has been using models since 2015 of color. I just feel like um, Phoebe Philo's brand is also under LVMH. And I do not think LVMH wants to be on fire because of a certain designer's point of view on, on different races. So uh, if it was today, I don't think LVMH would ever let that happen. But it's just... I'm a little bit shocked. But honestly, I love Iman and I love her. I love that she is as successful as she is. And she's taking a stance and she's speaking her opinion. And we need to do better as well. And it's definitely a thing where I'm just like, I'm definitely not going to support Phoebe Philo. I don't even care if it's like 10 years ago that comment came out. I feel like she, that opinion is probably still embedded in her as she probably doesn't really care to do better. But yeah, I'm shocked. But the, the final thing was, even though I'm shocked about the, um, the comment, I also want to share you guys my opinion when it comes to like, the collection and the material it was made of because it definitely put things a little bit more in perspective of why this is also a little bit of a cash grab and as we have the brands like The Row and we got Boutique Manila we have so many other brands that I don't wait Boutique Manila do they? but we have so many other brands now that do like the same kind of minimalistic approach to things um, so I don't really see a reason to be checking for Phoebe Philo, especially not after that comment. Damn. Do you know what? Do you know what hurts the most when you like something and you then you find out something like that? It's like, oh, now I have to just like cut you out. Why couldn't you just be a good person? Do you know what I mean? But I'm definitely not checking for Phoebe Philo. Yeah. Actually, there's another person that said something as well. Um, I read in the comments. I haven't back checked it, but. But was it? I cannot find the comments right now, but it was basically saying something that back in the days when she worked for Celine, the Asian journalists, um, something about they were never really welcomed at the shows or they always got pushed aside or something like that, indicating that it's not only black people that she has a thing for, but it's also Asian people. I can't, I can't find the comment now. Honestly, it doesn't come as... At this point, nothing comes as a surprise, but yeah. Okay, that was it for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. And is there more about Phoebe Philo that you guys have to tell me or anything like that? Because I am actually thinking about digging through like um, articles, articles and stuff, like, trying to figure out which designers are racist or which ones are not. Because that's definitely a lot of things. There's even been like a thing with Michael Costello, I think it was, using an Asian model and then editing her face to look like a white model and that whole thing. I saw a video of that and I thought of making a video just calling out designers because I really think that could be interesting to dig into and figure out who's... Yeah, just calling out designers. That's what I want to do. So if there's any designer I should check for or anything like that, let me know because I'm going to have this a um, little bit of a research regarding designers. So yeah, let me know in the comments and um, that was it for this video. I just wanted to come up with my little bit of update on the first people Friday video regarding the prices actually, but also now because of this clip that I saw Biman talking about Philo and her statements she said back in 2013 um, and another thing is I know that it's 2023 um, I still feel like I could still believe that she has that same opinion but it's because of the new age I feel like she's definitely afraid of being cancelled so she probably wouldn't be saying something like that she also used black models in her new brand um, which is good. It doesn't mean that she doesn't still have the same opinion. So yeah, that was it for this video guys. Hope you guys liked it. Like, subscribe and let me know which designers 
that you know is problematic that I should like make a video about. Um, I'm, I'm gonna make like collective, I think, of all different designers, or maybe I'll do like separate. Depending on how much there is about the person or the designer, I will probably, yeah, I will figure that out. But definitely like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.